it's Willer time. Time to kick off your sandals and pop open a Willer. The best tasted beer since 1892. When it's time to relax after a tough day, you owe yourself the best tasting beer you Hey, welcome back to the Cardano Minute. My name is Tony, and we're about to break away for an important announcement from our fearless leader, Charles Hoskinson. Take it away, Charles. Hey, here's a follow-up, right? With all due respect, this doesn't make any sense. There's nothing wrong about wanting to buy aid in order to make money long-term. Sure, go ahead. Uh, why do you make it sound so bad? Because it's not what I focus on. It's not what I think about. I couldn't care less. Markets go up, markets go down. You want to listen to a guy tell you sweet little lies about how great things are? Go buy something from Justin Sun or all those who come before him and after him. You made money off of BTC? Yeah, because I believed in the vision of BTC. And I would still be working on Bitcoin if Bitcoin could evolve. The reason why we worked on Ethereum, it wasn't because we wanted to build Ethereum. It was because we couldn't do color coins or master coin the right way. You know, the reason why BitShares came about, because Bitcoin couldn't work. Nothing made any sense. You know, every single time we'd say, we need smart contracts. No, go fuck yourself. We need to change the consensus algorithm. This cannot scale. No, go fuck yourself. Bitcoin uses 87 terawatts of power. 87 terawatts. That's more than Belgium at this point. And as the price goes up, it uses more. It never goes down, ever. So it gets more and more centralized and the mining operations get more and more vertically integrated, more and more private, more and more subsidized power. That system is not sustainable. It can't be by design. These are known problems and the cult of Bitcoin can't admit these known problems. So those of us who knew they were known problems conducted an exodus and we went into the altcoin space and started building alternative experiments because we want the promise of the ecosystem to exist. We would like people to be their own banks. We would like people to be in charge of their own data and their identity because when they're not, they get deplatformed and they get compromised. We would like people to be their own payment system and to get rid of SWIFT and BIF and BIS and these types of things. That is the goal. That's why we do what we do. That's why we build what we build. That's why we go where we go. Not because it was all about making money. No, no, no. It's a lot easier just buy and hold Bitcoin. Great. But then what have you accomplished? What have you done with your life? You've gotten money, but does your money even mean anything? Imagine the farmers in Zimbabwe, right when Mugabe took over, and the currency still had some value to it. And let's say you want to retire, so you sell all your land, and you get a bunch of the local currency. Ten years later, you can't even buy a sandwich with it because the currency collapsed. If your life goal is avarice and you're chasing things, not ideas, you're chasing wealth and you're chasing power, not relationships and experiences and principles and aiding your fellow man, then at the end of the day, you may achieve for a short period of time wealth and power, but you will not achieve happiness in life. You just won't. So you take care of people. You address your material needs and great. And some people get very lucky and they accumulate lots of wealth. But if they make that the center of their life, it's pointless. And my God, what has our industry taught people? A trillion dollars of value has been created by tokens living in magic internet money in the sky. A trillion dollars. I've been around so long to remember when they were worth a dollar and Bitcoin's market cap was $100 million. And we were like, wow, this is incredible. And then suddenly it went to a billion and we couldn't believe it. It was impossible to have a capitalization that high. Is there any real material difference from that to a trillion? No, it's all numbers. It's all made up. Fiat's made up. Money doesn't exist. It's a human concept. People exist. Social interactions exist. Kindness exists. These are concepts that matter far more. Money is a necessary evil that we created in order to make society work. And so far, it's been okay. But then we've convinced a bunch of people that that's the point of life. And you know what? It's a guaranteed way to be miserable and die miserable if you believe that. 
So yeah, if you want to trade and make lots of money, all the power to you, but you'll get no sympathy or empathy or support from me because that's not what I do. I wake up every day and I say, how do I build a billion person system? How do I build the best technology? How do we grow these protocols in a way that they're maximally useful to as many people as possible? And how do we take them into jurisdictions where they really matter? It just so happens that when we do that and we build those things, that it does actually create network value. That of course will result in billions, perhaps trillions of dollars of capitalization. But that is an after effect of bringing millions to billions of people together. When you do that, you create value emergently. You can't not create value emergently. If you take 100 people and put them in a room for a day, at least a few of them will pair up and create something, a musical composition, a piece of art, a kid. You can't not put humans together and expect them to create. It's our nature to do that. You create a network with billions of people in it, you will create a society. And if you embed within that network principles and values that transcend the ones we have in the legacy systems, the society that you create is infinitely better and wiser and more just than the society that you came from. So yes, you can make money and go back into the fiat world and live very well. Congratulations. It's not the point that I worry about, but it's an open protocol. And it, your mileage may vary. Do whatever you want to do. And I'm, plenty of millionaires have been created. Uh, Cardano was started on 72 million. Every person who played that game, they got to 11 billion if they stayed. They did fine. A lot of them are still here and they don't care because they love the philosophy. Some aren't. It's up to you, and you make those decisions life. I've made my decision. Which one's better? Well, I'm happy. I love my life. I love what I do. I work for free, personally. I run a big company, so we have to, of course, pay bills, and my employees certainly won't. Uh, but, you know, it's not the driving factor in my life, and it never has been, and I couldn't care about it.